everyone. Tim from the Montreal Fishing Channel and uh, recently I had a few people ask me what type of setup do I use when I'm out surgeon fishing in Montreal. So I thought I'd make a little YouTube video to help people out in terms of what I use. Not to say it's the best setup but for me it works and it works well. Um, and it's a simple setup so I'm going to show you a few things that I use and how I set it up. First and foremost please everyone before you go fish go and get a Quebec fishing license. Uh, the boys in brown are out in full force and it's an expensive ticket if you're caught out there without one. They won't take your gear but they will definitely give you that big ticket. Um, I recommend you go get a big rod and reel set up. I have a 9 foot rod here with a big reel that's able to hold 300 yards of 65 pound braided line. You could get away with a little bit less um, or more, but this is primarily what I've been using and uh, it's what you're going to need. In terms of the gear that I'm using, this, I have a 80 pound steel barrel, a 6 ounce sliding weight. Now you could use different weights depending on the current you're fishing in. But uh, where I go, um, this is what I definitely need as the current is strong. And most places where you're going to fish for sturgeon, there is going to be current. I use a 5 aught Gomakatsu hook. Um, recommended is 5 to 6 aught uh, from what I hear and what I've been doing. So that's what I've been using. Um, this is the package of the hooks I use here. I like the little warning here. It tells you, warning, it should be sharp hook. So um, yeah, you're not going to lose much with it. And you're going to need some little beads. I thought it was just for look before, but um, obviously they're needed for something and these will help your knot from not breaking when the sinker bangs up against it when you cast. Now the knots I use um, are all snelled knots. Um, I, you could use clench knots, you could use other knots. Um, my preference is a snelled knot as I find they, they break less. Um, so I'm going to take a lace just to show you as it will be easier visually to see. Uh, just in case you don't know how to make a snell knot, you're going to take your line and you're going to bend it in half to make a loop like this. And you're going to take the bottom, you're going to make yourself a circle, kind of like a lowercase b, and you're going to feed it through the circle and out, pulling tight, and that is your snell knot. You would just cut off the excess line on the bottom and uh, this is the only knot I use. So now um, doing it with the, the line, it might be a little bit harder to see making the knots with the line, but um, that's why I did it with the shoelace. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sliding sinker and you're going to feed it through your line. Like that. Then you're going to place your beads, one, two beads, doesn't matter, depending on the size of the beads. So I use two small beads here. They don't need to be fishing beads. You can go out into the dollar store and get beads. Uh, they, they just, something that will create a space between the sinker and the knot so your sinker is not banging directly against the knot. Now I will make my snell knot with my line. Like so. Then I will take my barrel and I will feed it into the hole and then I will pull the bottom part of the barrel through the loop of the snell. And all the way down. So what happens is it doesn't essentially make a knot on there but it makes a, a loop. And now that will not break. The only way that it will come off is if your line snaps, uh, your knot cannot come undone. So the only thing that could cause a break is resistance or by chance rubbing up against a rock. What you're going to do is you're going to take your extra line. Um, in this case I use the same line I use on my rod which is the 65 pound braid. Some people have preference to use mono line as it's a little bit easier to handle. Uh, maybe it breaks less on the rocks, but again, uh, this is just me, but I've had good luck with it. So um, you're going to cut off an amount. 
about uh, about 10 inches. And now you're going to make your lead. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to feed the line through the loop like so. Pull it down a little bit. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this and loop it backwards over about, you know, six to seven times like so and then pull it back through the back of the hook and through the eye and pull. Again, this knot cannot come undone. The only way it could break is to have it snap. So again, you're not going to lose a fish due to the fact that your knot came undone on your hook. Then on the top of that, I make another snell. So you're going to want to take it and make another snell on the top. Sometimes easier than other times, under the pressure of a video. Of course, it's not going to happen the first time. And just like that, you're going to make another little loop on the top. You cut off this excess line here because uh, there was a little bit much there. So I'm just going to snip that off. And again, the same way you did the barrel, you're going to take the bottom half of the barrel, you're going to feed it into the loop, and this time you're going to bring your hook and bring it in through the loop of the snelled line and pull it through. So again, this will not come undone. The only way it will break is for it to snap. And that is the setup I have been using. And again, it's been working, so it might not be the best sturgeon setup, but for me, it's what works, and it's yeah, hope this helped everybody. And uh, keep an eye on my channel as I'm going to try to post more and more fishing videos um, in the Montreal area. Um, videos of myself fishing, possibly uh, catches, and um, you know maybe some carp setup, how to make hair raids. Uh, that'll probably be the next video. Happy fishing, guys!